okay let's see jay and nihal will paint the circle shown here if jay will paint 2 by 8 of a circle nihal will paint another 3 by 8 of a circle then what fraction of the circle is left to paint okay so see jay if i denote it by green color he is painting 2 by 8 means how many parts should i color uh who is going to answer okay vishwesh vishwesh tell me how many parts will i shade if i have to represent 2 by 8 sorry ha now unmute ha two parts okay you said two parts okay unmute yourself but you got ha okay now for nihal i have to represent 3 by 8 that means how many parts i will shade vishwesh 3 So I shaded three more. Okay, is it okay? So this yes. green represents Nihal. Sorry, Jay, and this represents Nihal painting. Okay. Now, there the question. What this is? What it is given? We have done on the question. Now we have to also see that what are they asking? They are asking what fraction of circle is left to paint? Yes, Vishwesh. None. How three. many parts are left? Ah, three, three parts are left. Okay. So what will be the fraction? Three by three by eight. Option B. Yes, option B. See, only these three parts are left to paint, na? Right. So that becomes three by eight. Okay. Now, in case the picture is not given, here the picture was given, so we did it by that. So in that case, we use our addition thing. Okay. Jay painted this much. Nihal painted this much. So total painted by them is this. right this is what we learned now when it says that what fraction of circle means the whole picture is left so what will i do i will do one whole minus 5 by 8 okay this also now we know now this one i how how i can change so i will change it to 8 by 8 right so we can do this calculation also all right but here the picture was given so we thought of doing with the picture it's much more easier right by doing visually okay both ways are correct So see here, this mathematical part is given because at times pictures are not given, or if the fractions are too big that we we can't draw. So we should also know the mathematical part, how to solve it. Okay. So here, whenever the left is asked, na, so this is the important that from a whole you have to subtract. Okay, one minus five by eight. This is an important step here. Okay, which everyone has to keep in mind. Uh, there are seven adaptive features given on your screen. You have to select uh, correct sets of feature for uh, camel. What are the correct camel uh, blubber under the skin? Blubber is a fat uh, layer, and it is seen under the skin of polar animals, animals living in polar regions like the penguin and polar bear. So one is no, will not fit for camel because it is already very hot in its habitat, so it will not uh, require blubber under its skin. padded feet is true because it has to walk uh, on sand which is very difficult so it is have a padded feet now thick skin yes which helps them uh, to protect its skin or protect from uh, heat of the sun long lashes yes long legs to keep the body above the ground yes thumb stores fat inside it yes four limbs are modified into flippers no it is for penguins it is about the penguin which has a uh, four limbs modified into flippers so to chill the option d yes 2 3 4 5 and 6 2 3 4 5 and 6 is the option given in b point g is 3 meters to the east of f east of f 3 meters we have g 3 meters Next point H is one. Point H is five meters to the south of G. So south of G five meters we have H. Now I is six meter. Okay, I don't have space. Let me write E here. Ten meters. Three meters. Five meters. H and H two. What do we have? Ah. Huh. Point I is six meters to the west of H, like this. I six meters to the west of H. Fine. Next J is ten meters to the north of I. So ten meters to the north of I.
10 meters. Next, K is 6 meters to the east of J. Okay, 6 meters they said. So, already here we have certain... Yes. Ma'am, it's not west, ma'am. Where is it west? Ma'am, north ma it's not northwest, it's southeast. Oh. And I'll come. I'll come to your answer. Don't bother, don't bother. So, from J when you join it, they again, they said I was 15 in the point J, 10 meters to the north of I finished. Point K is 6 meters to the east of J. So, 6 meters, I need to go like this. Which is I. Not I. K. K. It's K. Fine. Now, L is 5 meters to the north of J. Here is L, which is 5 meters. Which of the following represents the direction from G to the point J? Here, the distances are very important. G and J, they said. Already J is here from J, uh, G to J. Uh, I mean, G with respect to J. That means from J you should look at G. Why are you, why will you get confused with the answers means here 10 meters after 3 meters are there. 3 meters later, 6 meters you are going. When you are going 6 meters automatically J is to the left part, west part and G is to the direction of east. So from J to G when you look and again the distance if you compare properly, here it is only 5 but here it is 10. So, from top to bottom it is coming. So, this is coming in this direction in between which is southeast. So, southeast is the answer. 